We're to Ataria, a community brought together around the scavenger hunt created by John Green and Rosiana Hals Rojas in the lead up to the release of John's new book, Turtles All the Way Down. The scavenger hunt started in January 2017, when a small lizard-like creature, which we soon found out was actually a Tuatara, appeared on John's wall in a Vlogbrothers video. Now, almost a year later, Tuataria exists as a place where nerds of all stripes can come together and share their unironic enthusiasm with each other, hopefully decreasing world suck as we go. If you've read Turtles All the Way Down, you know that the Tuatara plays a special role in the story. That, combined with the importance of the Tuatara to our community, we have decided to support Tuatara conservation efforts for the Project for Austin this year. The organization we have chosen is the Moto Ihe Trust. We'll explain why in a minute, but first, here are some true facts about the Tuatara. Tuatara are reptiles, not lizards, that are native to New Zealand. Their name is Mari for peaks or spines, named for the spiny plates on their back and tail. The Tuatara is the only living member of this Vendontia family, as all the other members of its order died around 60 million years ago, whereas the Tuatara has remained mostly unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs. One unique feature about the Tuatara is that they can live in very cold conditions. They can survive in temperatures around 12 to 17 degrees Celsius, whereas most other reptiles need temperatures of 25 to 38 degrees Celsius. The Tuatara has another unique temperature characteristic in that the temperature of its eggs determines the sex of its offspring, warmer for male and colder for female. The Tuatara has a third eye on the top of its head called the parietal eye. It has a retina, lens, and nerve endings, but it is not used for sight. Its purpose is still unknown. The eye is visible in younger Tuatara, but becomes covered with scales and pigment after a few months, making it hard to see on older Tuatara. Tuatara can live to be very old. The average lifespan is 60 years, but they can live well beyond 100 years old. However, they are fairly slow breeders, as it takes 9 months for them to lay their eggs. They don't hatch for another 11 to 16 months, and then don't mature for another 10 to 15 years. In this time, they're particularly vulnerable, especially seeing as they bury their eggs. Introduced mammals, such as rats, prey on both their eggs and their young, which is one of the reasons why Tuatara are no longer widespread on the mainland islands of New Zealand. They have survived in the wild on 32 offshore islands, all of which are rodent-free. Recent efforts have established Tuatara on four other islands, as scientists and wildlife experts figure out new ways to raise Tuatara and support them in their natural habitats. These animals are important to preserve for the future, which is why we are supporting the Moto Ihe Trust. The Moto Ihe Trust is dedicated to preserving the ecology of Moto Ihe Island, located in the Haraki Gulf of New Zealand, near Auckland. Motoihe Island is a predator and pest-free island dedicated to the restoration of native flora and fauna. The trust was formed in 2000 and has been working hard with the New Zealand Department of Conservation to restore the island and introduce endangered species such as native birds and, of course, Tuatara. This is a great opportunity to support not only the Tuatara, but also the important ecosystems that create a place where Tuatara can safely live. The trust works with local groups to maintain native animal and plant populations, especially by monitoring them and planting endangered trees through volunteer help. Restoring animal populations has been a goal of the Trust since its foundation, and in May of 2012, this vision was realized with the release of 60 Tuatara onto Motuihi. We hope that support for the Trust will ensure the safety and the future of these incredible creatures for years to come. If you want to support the Motuihi Trust, please go to the Project Frostum website at projectforawesome.com and vote for this video. You can also support the Motuihi Trust directly by going to their website at motuihi.org.nz. Both websites are linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and happy Project for Awesome from all of us in Tuataria. DFTVA. I have to tell the Tuatara to not forget to be awesome. So DFTVA Tuatara. Yeah, yeah, yeah.